All right, guys, back again to the future. Yahawa Shai here speaking. And I just want to give my father Yahawa thanks for life and for strength once again. To all your sincere Akian who are pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. So, I reached the end of my, my book right now. And I'm going to try to get a new one today. But let's go into it. So, God loves everybody, yeah? That's the title. God loves everybody. So, that's true. I agree. Matthew 5, verse 25, yeah? Agree, agree with thine adversaries quickly, whilst thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. Yeah? So, if God didn't love everybody, yeah? You won't see these waste man people, yeah, right now, Isa and these other nations, yeah. You won't see them having rulership. And if you look closer, you see Job 34, yeah, that's a full read. Verse 16 to 19. Read 20, 21, and 22 as well, people. Psalms, yeah, 106, verse 41, yeah. And. <laughs> Don't be stupid as well. My father and me, we hate the wicked and we love the good. Yeah, Psalms 45 verse 7. Yeah, you guys could read as well to all these Deuteronomies. Yeah. And just know, yeah, this is a fact. Hate is in the Bible many times. So why is it portrayed as a love story? Yeah. Why? Why you guys in the so-called church and you don't want to hear the word even hate? Because you guys know you're doing some kind of wickedness. You guys know you're doing some kind of wickedness. But anyways, father hate, yeah? And he does love everybody. And he's not contradicting himself. You guys have to open your brain and see. Yeah? So as again, if my father didn't love everybody,